Do you guys realize that life is a scam? If you still have not realized that, do not worry. Before the end of this video, you're going to understand why I say life is a scam. Um, I'm going to give you five reasons why I say life is a scam. Reason number one, sex. Isn't it crazy that more than 70% of the people that are here were not planned? They are actually here because sex is just so fucking nice. It's not like their parents actually wanted to have them. No. Their parents had them because sex is so nice. Shouldn't that make you suspicious? Shouldn't that make you question everything? I mean, why can't people just have sex for pleasure? Why can't they choose that? Okay, now I'm having sex for pleasure and now I'm having sex to have a child. Why shouldn't it be like that? I know you might say, oh, we got condoms. Yeah, that's because we've created condoms. Just because we're intelligent enough to create condoms. But animals can't create condoms. They are in a trap. And almost all humans that are here cannot create condoms. There are just some special people that can create this stuff. Many humans cannot create this stuff. So that means that naturally we don't have uh, ways to prevent pregnancy. So that should actually make us suspicious. We should ask ourselves why sex is so nice. We should ask ourselves why it's very hard to resist sex. We should ask ourselves why we get horny. I feel for the animals most of the times when I see them being horny. That's fucking fucked up, man. Think about it. Reason number two why I say life is a scam. People are never ready to have children. There isn't a person that actually told me that they wanted to have a child you know what people tell me i do want to have a child in the future they never tell me that yeah i want a child it's like no one is ever ready to have a child they just wish that they can have a child in the future but they're never ready they'll tell you that um i'm gonna have a child when i get married i'm gonna have a child when i have a job i'm gonna have a child when i get a raise I'm going to have a child when I buy a new place. They're never ready. They are never ready. They just have children because sex is so nice. They were trying to have sex for pleasure and then they conceived. That's it. It's not because they were actually ready to have a child. So that should tell us something. That people don't really want to have children. You see? That's why they keep on postponing Here's reason number three why I say that life is a scam. People are never happy. I've never actually met a person who's actually happy, ever. People got problems for days. You'll see a person and be like, okay, this one is happy. Until you get to know them and realize they're fucked up just like everyone else. No one is actually happy. No one is actually satisfied no people are always looking for something they'll tell you that yeah i think i'm gonna be happy when i get this i think i'm gonna be happy when i get that but when they get these things they still feel empty they still feel like they're not satisfied they still feel like there's something else that they should be looking for i mean shouldn't that make us suspicious that we never feel satisfied with things that we have no matter what we have we still feel like we want more and that's why a lot of people are greedy because you'll be surprised why some of the richest people are still greedy and taking from poor people. Why is that? It's because people are not happy. If they were happy, they wouldn't be doing that. People who are happy actually want to do things that are going to benefit other people. Let me tell you that. If you are really, really happy, you will want to make other people happy. You're not going to want to do things that will uh, put other people at a disadvantage. I'm telling you that. So the reason why a lot of people are greedy is because they're not happy. And they're just trying to distract themselves by succeeding, by becoming the richest people in this world. But in the end, it's still so lonely, like Kanye West says. In the end, it's still lonely. People are never happy. People are never satisfied. Here's reason number four. People are living meaningless lives. I don't like to say that life is meaningless, but the truth is many people are living meaningless lives. I mean, think about it. How many people are actually doing things that are actually meaningful. Many people are just slaves. They are born into this world and they are told to go to school where they get brainwashed and then they become slaves. They just work a job that they do not like with people that they do not like and then go back home and have babies 
and that's it that's the meaning of their lives i mean how can you say that shit is meaningful then that many people that are doing things that we feel like yo man like that's really awesome i would like to do that as well nope many people are slaves they're not special they're just like any other person you know i mean there's nothing meaningful about waking up in the morning and going to work for someone else especially if you don't like your job if you're just working just because you have to there's nothing meaningful about that you're a slave <laughs> you like to convince yourself otherwise but the truth is you're a slave you know there ain't that many people that i know who actually like that job there isn't in fact let me be real i don't know any person that actually like that job people are always complaining about their jobs like ah man i don't like this work environment i don't like my boss i don't like this person you know that's how people are down and living meaningless lives they're not satisfied because they're slaves there ain't that many people that are living meaningful lives there ain't that many people that are actually free see which brings me to reason number five autonomy this to me is the most important thing in this life it's autonomy if people do not have autonomy then that should tell us that actually life is a scam like it, it can never be debatable you can't say that people should be born here and they should just be told what to do how to do what they do and they should not have freedom to truly be themselves they should not have freedom to choose what they actually want what they actually like you might say no they actually do have a choice yeah as long as their choices align with what is allowed that's it if a person decided that they want to do something that the higher ups don't approve of people can get arrested easily so how can we say that this shit is meaningful how can we say it's not a scam if there are people that are making choices for everyone people that are telling everyone what to do and these people that are being told what to do have no say isn't that messed up i mean yeah they will tell us to vote as if that really does anything but we know that we're fucked we know that we don't have a time i mean look at the most important choice that we all know every person with a brain knows that if a person don't feel like they want to continue with this experience anymore they should be allowed to exit period they should be allowed to exit peacefully that is very very important that is a very important human right but people don't even have that right they have to go and fight with the government like really is that even normal to you does that sound right to you think about it man think about it that should tell us something autonomy is super important man people should be able to do their own thing as long as they're not harming anyone you know listen if they want to smoke weed they should be able to smoke weed as long as they're not harming anyone if they want to do magic mushrooms they should be able to do magic mushrooms as long as they're not harming anyone we can't be having a government that's controlling people like that what the fuck how do we even allow these kind of things we cannot say it's not a scam if people are being controlled we know for a fact that there are many people who have done magic mushrooms who say yo that helped me a lot that made me understand the world better that made me understand reality better but people are not allowed to take magic mushrooms that are people who used to suffer with depression that have healed from depression but just taking magic mushrooms life is a scam guys if you don't see that uh, they probably done something to you you must be able to see these things man and do whatever you can to free yourself do whatever you can to reach higher levels of awareness the only way to free yourself really is to reach higher levels of awareness it's not necessarily by doing anything you know it's not necessarily by fighting the system yeah you can but trust me the most important thing that you can do is to free yourself mentally that's it because that's the only power that you have a lot of things like going on strike and whatever those things yes they do help to some degree but really man no one can fuck with your mind you have power over your own mind you have power over your own thoughts if you really 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 uh, take your time to really control how you think how you just view the world you know ch choose what gets to affect you and what doesn't get to affect you you'll be evolving a lot you see the work that you need to do is here it, it doesn't have a lot to do with the outside world yes you must uh, you know participate in ways that are positive in ways that can bring change but really make sure you change this that's how you evolve you know you reach higher levels of awareness reach 
a level of awareness where you're not bothered by a lot of shit that's going on anymore that's where you become truly powerful if you're still bothered by things then you know they're gonna hurt you and when you're hurt you're not strong a person that's truly strong is a person that have healed you see a person that has been hurt so much before but then they heal dude no one can fuck with that kind of a person period so you must um realize that this shit is a fucking scam and you know try to reach higher levels of understanding and yeah that's it that's how you free yourself you know no one is gonna free you you have a job to free yourself that's it